Hello and welcome to Weisman channel. In the last video we talked about the Chameleon Ultra CLI command line interface. Now that's not for everyone, so in this one I'm gonna bring up the topic of a user interface that some of the people in the community has begun to work with. So tag along. First of all, we need to find it. And this is the GitHub repository. It's called uh, Chameleon Alta UI and it's by a user uh, by the name of Game Tech Live. Uh, as I see it right now, there are three contributors on this one. It's uh, and all of them are active on the Discord server, so big shout out to them. And if you don't want to compile and do this to yourself, because not everybody does, uh, they have been so uh, thoughtful and made it possible to download pre-compiled versions. Now that's a little bit hard to find, so you need to go into under actions. And don't worry, I will have this link in the description of the video later on. And once you go there, you go to the latest one. And if you go down here, you see the artifacts. Now that's the artifact that you want to download. So if you want to download the installer one, you do that on Windows, you click on that one and it will download for you. Quite nice and simple. And when that's done, you just unpack it. And when that is done, I need to do, have to change videos here again. Boop. You have a folder called Chameleon UI. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'll rename that one. If you open that up, so you will see that this is a Flutter uh, UI and based on a function that is for cross compilation for different platforms. That's why you solve all different kind of binaries, which is kind of smooth. And before you double click on UI EXE, please remember to remove all your Proxmox or other devices that you connected because it seemed to be interfering with the identification of the Chameleon Ultra. I have only my Chameleon Ultra connected right now. So when you start this up, it goes to the screen, of course, and down there, and this is how it looks like. It's kind of modern and smooth. If you press connect, it will identify it, and actually you show me which of the slots that's in use. So that's kind of nice. You see there's a slot manager here, uh, all of this is sizes, I mean, so this is a work in progress, so all of this should be, of course, uh, adapted to a different size. But that's normal. So if you want to help out and help them and they're contributing to this one, go ahead and do that. People will love it. Um, you can click on one of them. You can see which card types you have onto it. What's the idea with, and the idea with that, I guess. Save cards. You can save it to a file or upload it to a device. You have dictionaries you can upload as well. If you go into read card, and if uh, like I did right now, I put a card on top of the Chameleon Ultra, I can read it. That's kind of cool. I can try to recover keys, which I did because it was the default keys, I guess. And then you can press dump card and then save it. Save it as a bin or save it as something. Let's go test. Test dump. Taking a dump. Here you go. Boom. Done. I wonder if it goes in there. Hey, look, it did. Cool. I haven't tried this yet, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you also have a key recovery for MF key 32 and the partial uh, nouns key recovery. And I, you know, all of this is just not there right now, but it will be, I guess. And then you have settings where it's like kind of fun. You can make the sidebar go away automatically, or you can change the color theme. I use dark because I like dark. And this time I used purple. And I have also a developer mode. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of awesome. Now, a uh, big shout out to them. Please join, you know, uh, help them out, making sure that this GUI becomes as great as it be. Hope you enjoy it.